feel like it's becoming a habit to have snack food in here when we play. And <clears throat> I hope nothing of that snack is delicious. Welcome back to Chinstrap Chat. So we're gonna look at that grass. It's flooded. Time to go on Tony the Tiger here. Tony Hawk. Yep. Whoa! Jesus. Don't miss anything. It's always fun doing the uh, the speed runs on these levels. Yeah, these ones are fun. That's one thing I've noticed. I've been, like I said. Uh, before I've, I've, I've been playing Rayman uh, Origins. I'm gonna get Rayman Legends when that comes out. And it'll be out by the time we upload this. Mm -hmm. But, um, and who knows? Maybe we'll even have an episode of that up, because I plan on. I would like to play that with you, Billy, when we, uh, when I get it. Oh, I missed a box. God you dang it. Piece of shit. Oh well. Um. I think that would be a lot of fun. Rayman Legends? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, no, dude, it's gonna be sweet because that game's a lot. It is a lot of fun. Uh, the thing, the thing that I hate about that game though is like in order to get like the basic stuff that you need in order to complete a level. Like you know how like games like this they always have uh, collectible things. Like in this, it's the Wumpa Fruit, mm -hmm. which basically just gives you one ups and that sort of thing. The collectibles in that game in Rayman they are necessary. You have to get a certain number in order to 100% the level, which uh, requires you to pretty much play through certain parts of the level over and over and over until you get it perfectly. So that way you can uh, get all of the collectibles and everything. And, and like the thing is, is like, so it's kind of like Mass Effect 2, no. where you got to get all the special parts, or else you won't have everyone alive. No, <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> it's just that. Okay, so. Basically, what ends up happening is, at least in Rayman Origins, I know they changed it in Legends a little bit for the better because it's more it's more like a chore in Origins. But what you, what ends up happening is you call you collect these little yellow bug things called um, looms. They're called looms. And what ends up happening is each loom is worth one. Right? Okay. Normally. Now what you can do, you can collect these king looms, which are like bigger ones. And if you collect those, it makes every other loom on the map worth two for a short period amount of time. Of, you know, a short period. And basically, if you get a king loom and you fuck up getting as many of the regular ones as possible, you're fucked. Okay. You basically, if you want to get the sheer, the number... That you want, to, like you know, the number that you have to get in order to get all of the main collectible stuff in a level. Usually, it's 300. Mm -hmm. And then there's like an extra metal thing that you can get if you get 350. I always love these. They're yeah. so difficult, but they're so much fun. Yeah, these are a little sweet. But you can kind of see where that becomes frustrating. Like if you have to, you literally just have to like the level is easily beatable, but you have to just keep playing it over and over again if you want to get everything. Yeah. So I've kind of adopted the idea. I'm like, you know what? I just want to have fun with this game. I just want to play it and beat the levels. So that's kind of what I've been doing with it. Uh, Rayman Legends they make it a little bit nicer though. So what they what they end up doing is you know how like because uh, there's there's no one ups or anything in Rayman. There, you just you can just re retry it an infinite amount of times, and sometimes you will have to because levels get really hard. Yeah. But um, it's just one of those things where like the collectible things, like normally it should be fun, like this, like you know, like it all goes towards a purpose that you know benefits me as a player. Yeah, Whereas, either a one up or yeah, or like you know, know like, yeah, you know, like a bonus or something like that, whatever. Whereas in that game, it's like, no, you have to get these. There's no fun in it for you. You just have to get them. If you don't get, well, fuck you. Yeah. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about the games. But other than that, like the controls are really tight. The level design is amazing. And you'll be checking it out maybe tomorrow? Because uh, Rayman Legend comes out tomorrow as of the filming of this. Which is December 5th, 1982. I mean... September 3rd. Or Scotland's birthday. I don't know why I remember that. What? December 5th is Caitlin's birthday. I'm dying. September 5th is actually my interview. But f fuck me, ma'am. This is all about Crash Bandicoot, ma'am. 
Okay. That's a huge dinosaur. Yeah. How do you get its neck stuck in that uh, wall? Tree? Thing? I think, it's a, I think it's a tree. It looks like it a tree. It looks like a tree. But I, I believe it's nah, supposed yeah, to I be think a, it's a... I think it's a rock. Yeah, I Never mind. It looks like a tree, though. Why does its neck have bones that look like... Ribs? Yeah. Is maybe it that a giant maybe, snake? Maybe that's its ribs? But then it has zero neck for how big its fucking head is. Maybe it's a snake. Crash doesn't have a neck. <laughs> Look at he's he's got nothing but torso. His torso and his head are the same like thing. He's got like a pixel. He evolved from that dinosaur. Oh, and that one too. How weird is it that they died in like the exact same place? See, that one has no neck either. It's just. Well, maybe like the rest of the like, bones of the skeleton got lost over time. I don't understand those pedophile dudes in the water. I don't get it. But fuck them. I always called him my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Take it as you wish. Your uncle's probably a pretty cool guy. He walks around in bed sheets all the time. Um. Well, one of them is getting a lot of tattoos going through midlife crisis because him right. and uh, my aunt got a divorce. Alright, fair enough. And the other one, uh, we haven't seen, he, he disappeared pretty much. Oh. He left the family and uh, hasn't come back in many, many years. I think he left when I was like eight. So it's been like... You know, 13 years. Okay, there we go. I made it. I win. Woo! That one's always a little tough at the end. But yeah. Uncles, man. I ain't got some. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one I don't see. My, uh... My... <clears throat> aunt and uncle are supposed to be... Staying here for good old days weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. So they'll be staying in my room, and I'll be staying in here. But I'm interested to see how that's gonna work out, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how long they're staying, but yeah, I think it's just for the thing. They're gonna look through all of your porn, your copious amounts of porn. If my brother still lives here, then yeah. Didn't he have it filed? Yeah, he had his porn on a filing cabinet. And then we found a way in. All you gotta do is you gotta... We had to... You take a paper clip? You, you just literally use the paper clip as the key. And huh. you just open it. Yeah, he had some porn. I do not. That was back in the... You know, back in the age where having porno magazines was kind of uh, the norm. I think... Uh, I think a portion of... God damn it. <laughs> damn! Sorry, bro! But I think most of the... That porn that he had was, uh... It was older. Yeah. Because we moved in here, like... Oh, fuck. It was when I was in fifth grade, actually. Um, would have been like something. God damn! You're fucking up. Man. I don't remember what year it was. I think like 2002 ish. Mm. I remember that was at the time when the GameCube was still relevant because that was basically my entire fifth grade existence was me and Jake Ruff. Hey Jake, uh, playing. Metroid, and we're like, dude, this is the coolest fucking game of all time. D does Jake even watch? I don't think he does, but I, tell should, him to. I should tell him to, because, uh... I don't think he even knows. I don't think so Because he's always either. doing something. Yeah, I have to... I don't know, <clears throat> it seems like a lot of people that we talk to, like, do for some reason, have YouTube accounts. And it's like, I don't know. They've kind of, they've adapted it now, where 
uh, if you have like a Google account or like a Gmail, then you have a YouTube account. So they make it nice and easy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Everything's meshing together. And I think I've mentioned this before, but through our YouTube account, we also have a Google Plus account, which is whatever. Nobody uses it, but if I've you have never met anyone <clears throat> except for my brother who uses Google <laughs> yeah. Plus. Yeah, if you happen to have a Google Plus account, we're on there. Go check it out. We don't do anything on it, though, because we don't use it. Because what are we, Nancy? <laughs> Is that racist? <clears throat> no. I hate these levels, by the way. I, I of, of most of the levels in these games, these are the ones I just... I, I never really was a big fan of. You see... I think I missed it. I'm not much of a fan of these I either. Yeah. I'm not much of a fan of these either. The ones... I always remember every time, even to this day, oh, shit. my sister will try to, uh, she'll try to do the racing ones. I want to do a bar. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Try uh, to do Alex, the racing Alex, we're talking one. about you. Yeah. She, uh, she can't do the racing, so I always had to do all the racing ones for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you told me that. The racing ones are tough, man. Alright, this episode's gonna be a little longer because we're gonna fight the boss with it because... Might as well. He's short. Yeah. And when I mean short, I mean he's actually, you know, a pretty big guy. Sporticus. Dude, look at that crowd. I never understood why all of the humans, like all of his henchmen in this game, have those big beady eyes. I yeah. I never understood why. Oh, I don't have any fucking... I don't have a mask, dude. You're gonna yeah. fail, man. Nah, this this boss is actually pretty easy. He just jumps around and you hit him. Yeah, but this is this is the hard part. Is the lines. But basically the way in which I avoid this is you just keep spinning. Because you can hit them. Yeah. You just keep going back and forth and you just keep on spinning. Why do they, why do they hate this? Are they not getting entertainment? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> you would think he would stop doing that attack. Yeah, you know. It's like, oh, oh damn, man, it didn't hit one the first. <laughs> I always thought that that I was splatting onto an egg. Like, that symbol looks like an egg to me. I like don't an, see like it, a, but... A, like it's an egg splat. Next time in Chinstrap Chaps, we're gonna have breakfast. At Tiffany's. Well done, children. Who's you this, like who's this perv? Tiny, you have unlocked the Look at those lips. Next time travel area. Who sculpted this man? This George Washington had wooden teeth. Aku Aku's got wooden lips. <laughs> Alright.